Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Oh, it's a, it's a guy. It's not a girl. Hold on. I'm trying to figure out how to put this on speaker. All right. All right. I think I got it. You are can you? hear me now, right? Uh, yes, I hear you. Are you almost there, my friend? Yes. How, how are you? I'm fine. So what do you think, uh, you know, why Muslims now they are saying Quran science is nothing but a fraud? What is a fraud, I'm sorry? Why the Muslims today, they discover that Quran and science is nothing but a fraud, a lie? Well, first I wanted to start off by saying that um, I, I do respect all Christians, but um, you, you specifically... I just think it's absolutely pathetic how your platform is completely based off of being negative and uh, hateful towards Islam. What hateful mean? Just just being, I mean, I, I can go look it up on Google, but um, I mean, just keeping it in the context uh, between, you know, say calling Muslims, you know, donkeys and idiots and scumbags and just, okay. it's just, it's just not cool. So, I mean, and, so, okay. no. sincere Christian. Okay, hold on. Your Christian is not going to be okay with what you're okay. saying. Okay, okay. I will go and with you then. I will. I will go with you. I will go with you, my friend. I will go with you. So, do we agree that if somebody calls somebody a name, he is a bad person? No. We just said that. No, I'm saying that I think that the fact that your whole platform is based off of negativity. Okay, if somebody or his platform is in negativity. Okay. Is that okay? Is he a hateful person? You specifically, I think you're a hateful. You keep person. saying to me about me. So if your prophet, he right, called. Yeah, the, so if your prophet call us, you if you're a prophet, if you, uh, you know, I call Muslim donkeys, and I will call you donkey now because obviously you're not in your Quran. Isn't it your Quran called the Christian and the Jews donkeys? Well, I mean, I I also do have a question for you. No, no, hold on! Don't change, the topic. Don't, change the, don't, change the, don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't, don't change the topic. Don't change. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Ignored. You listen, 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 listen. See, the second I say to you, the second, the second I, the second. Here we go. See, change the topic. He changed the topic. He changed the topic. We will go to we will go to Matthew. Don't change the don't change the topic. You change the top. Don't no. It's not up to you. It's not. Uh, it's not up to you. Don't run away. Don't run away. See, you. You are a don. You are a donkey. You are a donkey. You are a donkey. Because you say that the one who called names is a bad person, is a hateful person. Okay. I will. Okay. Prove the opposite. Go ahead. Was it Matthew or Levi? Who was it? Who? Who? You tell me. You Listen, if I show, okay, hold on. Life. So, okay, okay, okay. I will, I will go with you. you. Uh, you see, you now you change the topic. You change the topic. I will no, go with you. I will. Go. Let me answer. 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 I said Matthew. Matthew did not write Matthew. Nobody do, you, knows do you have a proof? Do you have a proof? Nobody knows who Matthew. Do you have a proof? Have proof? Okay. The chain of I have a proof. The Quran. Where's the chain of narration? The Quran. You the, have proof for the, the Quran. I have. The, I have the Quran. You, oh, there we go. You're just going to talk about the Quran again. Here we go. So, so are you rest. saying to me? See, you again, you are a don. So you are a donkey because I will. I will. I will use the Quran because this is the book you agree with. You, listen, listen. You are a donkey because now, Completely now you are saying. You, now you are saying. Now, listen. Let me talk. Let me talk. Let me talk. Potato. 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 So look what you did. You throw the Quran under the bus. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let you talk over me. I'll talk right back over you. No, you cannot. Here we go. I will. I will hang up on you, son of Muta. You just throw the Quran under the bus. Because if I give you any reference, you will say, I don't agree with them. When I give you the Quran, you say, I don't talk about the Quran. That's mean you don't agree with the Quran. That means you are stupid like your prophet. You refuse an evident in your book that the book we have between our hands, 600 years after Muhammad, is a true book. Is the true book. Confirming what is with us. Not what is with you. So if the stupid Muhammad, he confirmed the book, what is with us, and this is 600 years after Christ, 
after Matthew. And then the stupid you, you say to me, well, give me the chain of, no, no, chain of what? <laughs> give me the chain of narration of the Quran according to Allah, according to Hafs. Let, let, let us show guys the people the, 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 the chain of narration in Islam. Are you going to answer or you will not say I will not answer? Don't tell me I can't talk over you. You want to you want to have a civil conversation? I will let you talk. But you talk, I talk. You You're wanna, not letting me talk. Do you want to do that? Do you want to do that or not? You are not letting me talk. Do you want to do that or not? No, I'm letting you talk. You're but to you ask me a, you ask me a question. I ask me a question. I try to answer. You said I want to talk over you. So you just said that I asked you a question and then you okay. asked me a so question. Okay. So can I answer it? Can I answer the question? Can I can again, I answer you or not? Can I can I answer you and give you the mic? Can I answer you and give you the mic back? Or I mean, can I actually get in a few words or without you? I will give you the mic back and you can give me the answer for what I will say. Is that fair? I'm not here to speak about Islam. I don't I'm care. Here I am here to speak. Of, so don't don't call me then. Because I am using a check written by your hand, signed by you, saying this is the book is approved, is good, it is correct. And then you say to me that Islam is a stupid religion. My prophet is a liar. Allah, he did lie about your book and I don't accept. If you deny Islam to be from God, then I can discuss with you without speaking about Islam. Say in front of everybody, Muhammad is a fraud. And I will never mention one verse from the Quran. You are a hateful person. Go. That's what I'll say. Chapter 5, verse 14. Chapter 5, verse 14 in the Quran says, Allah, will, Allah will spread Christ hatred Christ. and enmity between the Christians. This is the Quran. Allah will spread hatred. So now deny Allah and Muhammad, and I will prove to you who is Matthew without using the Quran. Say Muhammad is a false prophet. Say Muhammad is a false man. Say the Quran is a book of lies, and then we will not use it. Go ahead. I think you're being actually unreal right See, now. See, you got busted. You got busted because busted I have. What, Christian? <laughs> what are you even saying right now? Shh, shh, don't, don't, I don't have time for kids. What are you saying right now? I'm saying that you refuse to accept your book to confirm my book. But your accusation is my book is false. <laughs> And I say to you, if you deny that Muhammad, he is a prophet, I will treat you as an atheist. Then I will prove to you who is Matthew without speaking about anything in the Quran. But because you are a Muslim, and this channel is about Islam, what is better proof I have against a stupid donkey like you, except the Quran? And then when you say to me, you call Muslims idiot, I said to you, the Quran call us donkeys, the Quran call us kuffar, the Quran call us animals, the Quran call us filthy, the Quran call us najis, the Quran call us uh, uh, the worst of animals. And then you say to me, the one who call names is hateful. All those things you say about us and not to forget to kill us and rape our women and take our land and you talk about hate. And not to forget that the filthy Allah, he says in chapter 5 verse 14, Allah will spread hatred and enmity. Do you see how you mute the garbage of Muhammadan? Not by muting their mic, no. He wasn't mute, he was so silenced. What are you saying now? What are you saying? I will talk over you. <laughs> don't call it, don't call me donkey, you are a donkey. Because you believe in a book, and then your book, who says my book is true, you don't want to accept what, he, what the book says. I mean, how stupid you are. And then you say to me, give me the chain of narration of the book of Matthew. Let us see the chain of narration of the Quran. This Quran is written according to Hafs. Who's Hafs? A fraud, a liar, a criminal. He used even to steal books and he steal things. He, he borrowed books and he claimed those are his own. This is in your books. Ibn, uh, 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 Hafs ibn Suleiman. Who Suleiman is a fraud like him? He is his stepfather. He's a pimp. Hafs is the kind of a man who ever marry my mom, I call him daddy. Go read your books. You don't have the Quran according to Muhammad. You have the Quran according to Hafs. According to Suleiman, 
according to Asim, according to etc. According blah 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 blah. Asim is his stepfather. According to Abdul Rahman, according to uh, Salma, according to Uthman, according to Ali, according to Zaid, according to Ibn Kaab, according to the Prophet. This is the chain of narration. Where is the book? We don't have it. We don't even have a book from Hafs. If you show me a verse in my Bible that says the Quran is from God, and then I say to you, I don't accept it, that would be stupid of me. This is what you are doing. This is why when I ask you, you refuse to answer and you went silence. And not only one verse, you idiot, tons of verses. Same time, you donkey. If the Quran was saying or saying that Allah He sent the Injil, and then the Muhammadan, because they are you know following the mule method, just use you know, just kick, you know they they kick. Even if they are kicking their own book, doesn't matter. He want to kick. When your stupid book says that the book, which is our book, sent by Allah, and then you stupid, you say to me that the book of Allah is corrupted. That means Allah cannot be God. You are not accusing me of anything. You are accusing your stupid God that he could not protect his book. Who is the one who sent the gospel? Allah. Okay, what is the gospel of Allah? You will say to me, it's gone. That's mean you are condemning your stupid God. Your stupid God who claimed to be eternal, divine, almighty, all powerful, who he in the Quran says, Nobody can change his words. لا مبدل لكلمة الله لا what? لا مبدل لكلمة الله Nobody can change the word of Allah. You Muslims, you say no. Allah is a liar. All those, it says, all those verses, saying nobody can change the word of Allah. Chapter 6, verse number 34. Nobody can alter the words of Allah. Okay, is the gospel is the word of Allah? Quran says yes, tons of verses. Tons of verses, and he quote even the Injil, which means he agrees specifically with the book of John. The stupid Allah, he think that the book of John is the one given to Jesus, which means Jesus, he was a Greek man. Because why? The Quran says, that Allah never sent a book or a messenger except in the tongue of his own people. So when Allah, he chose the word Injil, which is the Greek book, the Greek Bible, he just confirmed that Jesus was not from Israel. He was from Athena or maybe from Thessaloniki. And we did not send any apostle, but in the with the language of his people. So if the book name is Injil, that means the book is a Greek. That means the title will fit with the book. Otherwise, why the name of the book is Injil? Allah will never send a book unless it is in the language of the people. So how the Quran, even the book of the world for, for all Muslims in the world. Allah will never send a book to the Pakistani in a language they don't understand. In India, there's 400 or more languages. How Muhammad can be a prophet for India? According to the Quran, every nation should deliver to them a book in their tongue and a prophet who is from their tongue. So when a Muhammad and he say, Your book is corrupt. He is saying the book of Allah is corrupt. They forgot that the stupid Muhammad is a counterfeit person. He stole names and he add them to his Quran. And he claimed that our book is coming from Allah, which is false. However, this is against you, not against me. Because I can protect my book in Amazon. I have copyright over it. If you add one word to it, I can take you to court. I can put you in jail. Your God, Allah, could not protect his Injil. Same time, the other verses in the Quran saying, no, the Quran confirmed the book which is with them, not was with them. As an example, 
You see here in Arabic, it says, Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi. The Muslim translation here, you see the Arabic, it says, Musaddiqan lima bayna yadayhi. In the Muslim translation, because they are liars, they say, what came before it doesn't say that. It says what is between his hands. The word yaday in Arabic is hands. Bain mean between. Yaday, hands. What the Muslim translation is saying? Which is before it. False. They took the word hands totally. They took it away. I can go right now to Google Translation in front of your eyes. Just to show you that Muslims not only are idiot when they lie, because this is a lie of an idiot. Why somebody, he would lie about his book and he give false translation. They accuse us of corruption, but they are the one who corrupt their book. Because a false translation is nothing but a corruption. If you say to me, well, we have the original, well, still you are not decent. You are trying to lie to people. So I will copy, here we go in front of you in Arabic, and I will take it to Google Translation in front of your eyes. Take a screenshot. You know what? I will take a screenshot here. So you can see with me. I will put it next to the translation there. Hmm. All right. The one is highlighted. And now we will go to Google Translation and I will post in the front of you. Does it say between his hands? Be my witness. So confirming what is between his hands. Our book, the Bible in the time of Muhammad was between his hand and he confirmed it. Musaddiqa, not only confirm it, Musaddiqa in Arabic mean believing. 